Ladies and gentlemen, my name is XPC Reaper from Trojan Horse Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a library card look at Bioshock 2. First things first, options menu. What do we have? Graphics options, you've got a wide variety of things. Graphics quality, actor detail and texture detail. Actors is all your like objects in the games, obviously. Graphics, I think, is just overall everything. Texture detail is textures, naturally. you got stuff like shadow maps, how you detail post-processing. There's not too much you can do to it but here's the thing when i opened this game everything was already set it already recognized it's like you've got a high-end system we're gonna put everything to high for you controls customize keys yes i am i am definitely sure and so you got a wide variety of customizable keys all that sort of stuff what am I going to do? I'm going to set it so that I can actually use my Xbox controller, aren't I now? Audio options, you've got audio mode stereo, you've got uh, your master volume, you've got sound effect volume, music volume, and voiceover volume. And you've got that really nice thing, use reverb. That is really cool. Since I'm wearing a damn helmet for most of the game, you would think there would be a little bit of reverberation and everything. But... This actually lets you assign that. Usable object, highlight. Yeah, highlight that. Disable light chambers. Oh, that just sounds really, really, really painful. Adaptive training. Helmet HUD graphic. Okay, fair enough. So let's do the most important thing. Medium, I've played other shooters. Let's just go for medium difficulty. I have played Bioshock 2, by the way. This is not entirely a true first impressions because I played a significant amount of this on the Xbox 360. I'm not even going to lie. I got Bioshock 1 like a year after it was released, so I was really late to the party. Like, by that stage, everybody had stopped saying the stupid would you kindly to me. And it was just like, I don't get the reference, but as soon as I actually do get the reference, then they just they stop using it. So at the moment, in this cutscene, we're sitting about 40... It's ranging between 40 and 60 frames per second. Is everything nice and pretty? It's pretty enough, definitely. Ah, that's cool. We're the big daddy, aren't we? Oh, there's a the little sister. Oh, it's Mr. Bubbles. Come on. Let's go, you little creepy monster. Those things were really creepy. Once again, the water in this game, much like the original Bioshock, was just significantly beyond anything I had seen at the time. Even nowadays, seeing the water physics in this game is just impressive. But I'm actually just going to skip this cutscene so we can get right into the action of the game. No, if if you would be so kind as to load. I deliberately avoided picking up Bioshock Infinite because it, it didn't look particularly like a Bioshock game I was really desiring to play. Look at that. I'm sitting on 60 frames per second because I've got V-Sync enabled. It's a steady 60. It's occasionally like dropping down maybe one or two frames. But right now, look at this. It's just so damn cool. I just love this game so much. Everything about it is so pretty. It's got that real messed up dystopianism to it. You've got that right there. Oh my god, helmet water running off. It's just so damn cool. Yep, smash that coral out of the way. Left stick to crouch. It's really nice that it's saying all that sort of stuff. Hey, there's the big sister. Those things were definitely not big fans of us by any stretch of the imagination. Drill fuel. That's right, you were able to use the drill like a proper drill and all, weren't you? That was a really cool thing about it. You've got all those there things. Health gained from potted meat. Ooh, there is a attention worker's diary. I'm not going to bother playing the diaries or anything, but 
this is basically just to give you an impression of the optimization of this game. There we go. Drill into your face. Which is naturally bad for your health, I believe. Use that. Press Y to jump. A is your search button and all that there, of course. Unity and metamorphosis. Or metamorphosis, I know some people actually say. It's kind of interesting seeing the way words change, all that there sort of stuff. Gatherer's garden. Now, we've got our electrobolt plasmid. And what are the plasmids? Plasmids are basically your magic in this game. In the first game you weren't able to have a one-handed weapon out alongside a plasmid, but in this one you're able to dual wield quite effectively. And you just feel like such a badass in this. You really do feel like a big daddy in this game. Because you are. Oh, you're so creepy. It's, it's the voice. The way the voice doubles up. That is the thing that really creeps me out. Bolt of electricity from my hand. We'll open that there. I forgot to loot that corpse. I can't believe I forgot to loot a corpse. That's not something I ever do. Yep, he's dead. Ah, damn it. Damn you. Oh yeah, one also really cool thing, which I haven't mentioned yet. If you get a bunch of enemies standing in water and you fire lightning into the water, then you electrocute that water. The water gets electrified and everything in it sort of succumbs to death. Basically the best way to put it. Where am I going again? Is it down here I'm going? I see a hole in the floor. Was that a hole in the floor? No, it's just a reflection, isn't it? Yeah. There's a reflection, there's all that there. Compass would be nice. Also, there's no sprint mechanic in this here that I can remember. Unless... Actually, there probably is, I just can't remember it. Where do we go again? I forget, it's been so damn long since I played this game. Probably through there, through that door thing, Mark. Perhaps? No, not through that door thing at least. Oh, big shiny glowing thing. How did I not notice the big shiny glowing thing? There we go. That's one way to restore power. Now are we able to open that door now? Yes, there we go. Much better. Hey! There he is. There you are. He's repairing that leak, which is really cool. You just saw. He was out there repairing the leak. It was spraying water in up until that point. There we go. Really cool. Love it so much. The way water plays out in this game was just absolutely tremendous. There's no game that I feel has ever done anything quite like it. I mean, there are games that are like, oh, there's electrified water that's going to be dangerous for you. But as far as I remember, there are none which are as decidedly fatal as this one. There you go. You're shot in the face. Rivet gun. Shut, stop that. You're being mean. Wow. I don't know why. I switched that alarm off. I could swear I switched it off. I'm guessing I didn't actually do a good enough job switching it off. Get some rivets. Quite a riveting thing, wouldn't you say? Hop up cola. They called me something, but I wasn't paying attention. So it don't particularly matter what they called me, did they? Get some stuff out of there. Fresh water. Ooh. Grill fuel. Whole bunch of everything. That's cool. There are so many things in this game which are searchable. 
which is really nice Eve gain from aspirin. If you drink too much alcohol and everything, yeah, there are detriments to it. Come on, let me search you and take your stuff while you're dead. This game just honestly has been... It's just so much fun. There's no other game which I feel has been quite like it. And... Like, I know I haven't shown you particularly much of the gameplay or anything. I've basically been showing you the tutorial. But this bit is going to be really cool. If I remember correctly, she breaks open everything and just basically floods the room, lets the ocean in. And, oh, there you go. Damn it. Is this like a boss fight we have to do again? Ah, damn it. I think I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep. I am gonna die. I bet. Oh, you're running away. Yeah. Run, bitch. Collect some more rivets. My health is definitely not what I would describe as being quite perfect at the moment. Use right on the D-pad for that there. Reload my weapon. Yeah, I probably better do that. Collect some more rivets. It's really cool the fact that you're using rivets. Like, you're using what should essentially be a tool you're using to fix up the place you can use as a weapon. Because there is a definite lethality to things such as, you know, drills and rivet guns and shotguns will be reborn in the cold womb of the ocean. Oh, is this the bit I'm thinking of? Oh, yes. This bit is really cool. I'm going to, you're going to see the water physics and all that in motion in this part, definitely. Look at that right there. Everything floods under, but you're sitting thinking, it's like, hmm, how did you survive that? I'm a genetically modified Big Daddy, and I am wearing a big, big suit. A big diving suit. And this is really cool. The, the ocean depth bits are really just fantastic in this game. The bits where you're going all about, and... You're at the bottom of the ocean, and if you've got the sea slugs and everything you can collect Adam from. You've got just so much other stuff you can do. You've got a fuel thing. That'd be handy if I didn't, you know, have full drill fuel already. I wonder, are we going to find a sea slug? Are we? No, but we can find... There is some Eve. A lot of this has a sort of biblical um, thematic element to it because you've got Adam, which is your genetic modification fuel, basically. It's essentially like a currency which you can use for purchasing new abilities or just upgrading existing ones, things like that. And then you've got Eve, which you use for your plasmids, which is essentially just mana. And there are a lot of points in the game which have really interesting, sort of almost steampunk type themes to them as well. Because a lot of points in the game, it just does have that real everything is screwed feeling to it. Now you can see she's swimming about and you're sort of thinking it's like, well why am I not able to swim about, huh? Why am I not able to? Because like, we are significantly heavier than her. We're wearing a very, very heavy thing. So we just got the achievement unlocked, Daddy's Home. That was just a little look at the mechanics of the game and some of the gameplay elements and everything. If you want to pick this up, just do. It's got a multiplayer as well, which I feel I should mention. The multiplayer is really interesting. It's got a cool thing where you're sort of playing as the splicers, which are the Adam addicted psychopaths. But it also does things really nicely in that you, um, 
you have the option in some of the matches of becoming a big daddy. It's almost like this sort of collectible item which is going to completely overpower you. Iron sights. Should have mentioned that as well. You've got iron sights on your weapons. It doesn't slow you down either, which is definitely pretty damn cool. Search the lockers. Get me some free stuff, won't I? Health gain from chips. Get some fresh water. Already searched all that. Oh yeah, you can use the what is this thing. Pressing back, like you can open up a whole variety of things. You've got your map available there. You've got other stuff like your goals, your messages, help, and all that sort of stuff. This game just... It's old by this stage, like Bioshock Infinite has been released, but from what I've seen of Bioshock Infinite, I wouldn't enjoy it particularly. From what I know of this game, I enjoy it immensely. And this is just a fantastically tremendous game. There's no question about it at all. It's just the greatest game I have played in a long, long time. To the point where, when I saw this on sale, I was like, this is just so brilliant now. Use hack, hack, there we go. Hacking is very much simplified in this here a lot of the time. And you've got the remote hack tool and everything. I think you can just hack when you get right up to something, which is cool as well. Proximity hack, yes. You've got the blue points, which are bonuses. So I've got a little friend here. We'll be reborn. It's cool, this just... Some of the stuff in this here, like those we will be reborn, there's like stuff scrawled on walls, which is almost semi-religious. And if you're looking to play any game, which is this which is absolutely tremendous, which I could recommend to anybody. This is it. This is the game I would recommend to absolutely everybody. It's just... It's perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. I apologize for telling you how often this has been perfect. I apologize for that. Hey, dropped a free first aid kit. But I can't hide my feelings for this game. It's just too tremendous. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name has been XPC Reaper. You've been watching the library card for Bioshock 2 on Trojan Horse Gaming. See you next time.